Hello everybody, Ian Robson here. Welcome to another Mods Mashup. Today we're looking at the Vehicle Group Switcher Mod, which is made by Decker, and one of my favorites from FS15. So what exactly does this mod allow you to do? It allows you to put your tractors and combines into specific groups, so when you want to go to that specific group, you can just go to that specific group with those tractors as opposed to tabbing through all of your vehicles. So let's say I want to go to my combine. I know my combine is in group two, so automatically I can go directly to my combine as opposed to tapping through all my vehicles and then get to my combine. So how do you put a vehicle in a group? So in this context, if your vehicles are not assigned, they'll be in this unassigned category right here. So let's say I get into a combine. In this case, my combine's not assigned. So if I want to bring up the edit mode, I would hold down left control and E like that. So now I'm in the edit mode. So now I use the up and down arrows to move it through the different groups like so. So I want to put it in my harvesters category and then once it's in the category I press left control and E and then it is in that group. So now if I'm out of the tractor or, and I want to go to that specific tractor I would hold I would go left control and 2 to go to my second group. So in order to switch to the various groups, it would be left control and one for group one, left control and two for group two, left control three for group three, et cetera, et cetera. And you can change those in the default, in, those are just the default settings, but you can change it so it's a different, uh, a different uh, a combination of keys. So one of the things to note is that some other, some other mods actually use control, uh, so keep that in mind. Okay, so let's say I want to edit a particular category. So in this case, I'm in the edit mode here. So that's how I know I'm in the edit mode. But I want to name group three to something else other than what it is. So in this case, I would hold down my left control and three. And you know you're in the naming system when you have this chat bot box up here. So I'm gonna hold this up and I change this to front loaders because I want that to be named. And I already named group one and group two, that's why they're already named. If, I, if they weren't named, it would just look like group five, six, seven, eight. It would be group one, two, three, basically. So that's what you can do. You can actually name the specific categories themselves as well, which is pretty helpful. Okay, so the next thing you can, you can actually do is you can actually switch between groups. So I can go from group one to group two and just go to the next group. So it's like tabbing to the next group. And you have to set up, you have to set that particular feature up within the, because uh, you have to set a key binding for that and I don't have one set up at the moment. So it's helpful for when you have lots of vehicles, you just wanna to go to that particular group uh, as opposed to pressing uh, the next key basically. So, all right, so you can also disable and enable groups. So in this case, I'm in the edit mode still because the screen's still up. So if I wanna disable it, I would hold uh, left control and E, or if I wanna bring it up, I would hold, once I'm in a vehicle at least, I would hold left control and E to bring up that particular feature. So let's say I want to disable group four. So I would hold left control, E, and then three. Or in this case, I, I would disable group three in this context, which I didn't want to do. But you can see I've disabled the group. So what does that actually mean? It means that when I'm tabbing to the next group, uh, which is a key binding you have to set, it won't tab to that particular group. Now this is only set for the person who does this. It's not for everybody if you're on a server, for example. And then if you want to enable the group again, you would go, left control E and then three. So I would disable it and then you want to enable it, left control E and three. So that goes through the disable and enable function. So you can disable enable groups as you see fit. Basically it's when you want to tab to the next group. Now that's that a feature can be helpful. Um, I don't use it specifically, but it can definitely be helpful in some circumstances. So that is the basics of the keyboard keyboard. That's the basic of the vehicle group switching mod. So I hope you enjoyed. It's a very simple mod. It doesn't, it doesn't seem like it does a lot, but it's very helpful when you have a lot more tractors. So in this case, I have only, only have four tractors on this particular map, but it can be very helpful. So when you want to switch to a particular tractor, as opposed to going to all your tractors, so let's say I'm in this tractor over here, that's way over by the bakery. If I want to go directly to my combine, I would just go left control and two, and then now I'm in my combine. Very helpful for when you get more tractors. Even when you have a few tractors, it can be very helpful. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button for some more mod mashups. My name's Ian Robson, and I'll catch you guys later.